your man Ain't no lot to see Welcome to everyone joining us to experience stories of resilience, hope, perseverance, and joy. Move over to a sport chair, a basketball wheelchair. Category of best video are. We love you guys. America Trends. I'm Mary Burke Godwin, and you know, here at America Trends, we love our teen entrepreneurs. We've met several over the last few years through Sarah Hernholm, who's the founder of WIT, a teen entrepreneur company that helps these teens develop their entrepreneurial side. And we've got two joining us today. They are co founders of the company called Chlor, which it makes a fire retardant product called Chlor Wildfire Defense. Please welcome to America Trends, Barrett Dang and Sebastian Burkhart. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Hello. I'm doing great. Nice to meet both of you. I, I just love meeting the teens that come to us through Sarah um, and through WIT. So tell me how you two met and then how you joined WIT. So uh, we met in middle school. Um, we were sitting together in math class um, and we really just like tinkered through ideas, um, really all through math class instead of really focusing. <laughs> That's what a good and, middle uh, schooler does, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. Made our parents very happy. Yeah, exactly uh, right. <laughs> so, Definitely. And you guys, did you come together and say, hey, let's put some of our ideas together and, and start a business? Or how did you, you know, did you have your business idea before you came to WIT? Right. So, I mean, not necessarily. Um, we met in middle school, we met in math class, sixth grade. And from then on, like, we both realized we both had a passion for, like, firefighting in general, this market. And we just did a lot of research after that. We hang out a lot after school. And after that, um, we just decided to join WIT, as we all know, here, um, because we're here. Be we're here because of WIT. Yeah. So, and then, um, so tell me about this product. It is a fire retardant product called Chlor. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yeah. Okay, great. So, and yeah, so you said you were interested in firefighting in this world. And so tell me how you came up with this concept. Um, so we really looked uh, to what works in the oil additives field, um, which when there's an oil fire, what do they use to put out the fire, stop fires from starting as a whole? Um, and we basically compared and contrasted the chemicals in those that were uh, not used in wildfire retardants because wildfires are getting worse and worse, yet the innovation is just really lacking behind. Mm. Um, in the oil additive field, you have some of the most like state-of-the-art technology that's just not implemented into fires, uh, wildfires. So we really just, I guess, stole what uh, worked there and what currently works in wildfire retardants, tinkered, and tried to make a more eco-friendly product. Um, and that's really how we designed through a lot of testing and uh, R&D. Wow, that's incredible. Now, um, it says you were a Diamond Challenge finalist. Was that at South by Southwest? Uh, no, that was different. But okay. we actually met a lot of people um, that are currently doing South by Southwest from Diamond Challenge. And we just really hit the contact from there. And that's kind of how we found WIT in the first place, actually. Okay, and then tell me what are your, um, now that you have the product that you developed I mean, you two are very smart, clearly. So you, and you know, stealing ideas, that's how the best ideas happen, is you steal from other people. You put the best ideas together, which is what you did, and making some eco-friendly product now, which is very important in our society. So now what happens with this product? Where, where do you go from here? So yeah, we're actually uh, raising money from uh, a couple of venture capitalists. Um, we're doing additional uh, toxicity testing currently right now, um, and we are also uh, working to hire. We're growing. Um, there's about uh, four individuals we're looking to hire right now. Um, and we're really just trying to set ourselves up to work with people who would apply it themselves, um, at basically the DIYers and uh, services from like gardeners or 
firefighters to do this on the side of applying it to homeowners this fire season. So we'll be seeing either in a both in Los Angeles and then the Bay Area and some of Tahoe this fire season, actually. And are you guys in California? I mean, this is the home of uh, fire wildfires. Is that what you're based out of? Yeah, yeah, we're based out of Mountain View, California, in Cal um, in the Bay Area. If you're familiar with that, and around here, we get a lot of wildfires, especially during the the wildfire seasons. Yeah, but also like year long as well. So it's kind right. of like natural to us. So do you apply? Is it something that you would apply to the home to make the home fire retardant? Or is it something you apply after something's already burning? Obviously. So, so homes inadvertently aren't uh, flammable. The homes uh, won't burn if a little ember lands on it. Um, even the roofs, a lot of roofs, unless they're a wooden roof, but most roofs aren't like that. The issue is the fire gets up to the side of the house and burns a hole through the windows or something like that. So the whole goal is at the beginning of fire season, you're going to go out and you're going to realize this is an area where this is fuel that really isn't ever watered. It's dry. It's flammable. I'm going to spray it with this, and it'll protect it till the end of the fire season and until there's enough rain that you have issues of the product's efficiency has gone away. Because we want to make sure that it is non-toxic and friendly, it will wash away eventually. Wow, that's pretty amazing what you guys have created. So tell me, what is, what's your biggest challenge you've, you've encountered so far in your new business? First of all, what grade are you in now? You met in middle school. Right. Right now, we're sophomores in high school okay. and in 10th grade, and Sebastian's also in 10th grade. So definitely something like we're learning, balancing school and all that. And definitely we will have a lot of challenges um, in the future. And like, it's also, a, you know, like something that we found that's been really hard for both of us is really just balancing like school and so forth. You know, we have a lot of extracurriculars that we're involved in at school as well. Like Sebastian does soccer and, you know, he also likes to volunteer at a local forest actually, which is something wow. really interesting. But, um, you know, it's just learning, balancing this time after school with all of your extracurriculars that you're doing. Um, and it's something that we're both trying to learn and navigate. When through. you find out the secret to balance, let me know because I need that as well. <laughs> I don't have that yet in my uh, advanced age. But you guys are, I, I love what you're doing. This is an incredible product and I love that you're working with WIT. So Barrett Dang and Sebastian Burkhardt and you can be found at chlorefr.com. C-L-O-R-E-F-R dot com. Um, and this is just an incredible product. And you two are amazing. So best of luck to you. Um, and wow, this is incredible. They're so impressive, right? Yes. Yes, they are. And everyone at home, thank you as always for tuning in to America Trends. We're here on biztv.com every night of the week. Thanks, guys, for being here. And everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you back here again tomorrow night.